Welcome to the Family Birth Center at Mercy Gilbert Medical Center. The birth of your baby is a very special event. We want to make sure that while you are in the hospital, you and your baby feel as safe and comfortable as possible. By being an active, informed, and involved member of the team, you too can play an important role in making sure that you and your baby receive the safest care possible. Speak up. The best way to be safe and prevent errors is to speak up. Speak up if you do not understand information given to you, have questions about your care, think that you have been confused with another patient, or think that you may be receiving the wrong care or medication. How do you speak up? You can ask to speak to the charge nurse by dialing the phone number on the whiteboard in your room. The charge nurse or hospital operator can also get you in contact with your doctor or the department director. The hospital operator can be reached by dialing zero from your room phone or dialing 480-728-8000. The customer communication line is also available by dialing extension 88400. In case of an emergency, if you feel there is a life-threatening emergency, summon help immediately by calling extension 88911. Hospital identification band. Please take a moment to look at your armband now and make sure that your name and birth date are correct. If any of the information on your armband is incorrect or if your armband becomes faded or falls off, please speak up and let us know as soon as possible so the situation can be corrected. Your baby will receive an armband after birth. Medications. On admission, your nurse will carefully make note of any medications that you are taking at home. Your medications will be reviewed by your doctor, who will decide which ones you should continue taking while in the hospital. For your safety, please do not keep or take your own medications while in the hospital. Before giving you any medication, the nurse will ask you or your family member to state your name and will also check your armband. If your nurses do not check your armband, speak up. Ask them to stop and verify your identity before giving you any medication. You can also prevent medication errors by letting your nurse know if you have allergies to a medication you are about to receive, you think that you are having an allergic reaction to one of the medicines, you think that you are receiving a wrong medication, or the prescribed schedule for taking your medication is not being followed. Preventing infections. Hospital employees will use either antibacterial gel or wash their hands with soap and water every time they enter and leave your room. Your visitors should also wash or sanitize their hands when they enter and when they leave your room, before holding the baby and after using the restroom. Both you and your family should use a tissue to cover your mouth when coughing or sneezing and then wash or sanitize the hands. If you are admitted to the hospital with an infection or a suspected infection, special isolation precautions may be needed. Both staff and visitors may be required to wear special equipment, which might include gloves, gowns, and masks. Preventing Falls Although you may be young, healthy, and completely independent at home, having a baby, undergoing surgery, and even the effects of medications may increase your risk of falling. After delivery, don't get out of bed by yourself until your nurse says it's okay. After delivery, if you are walking in the hallway, your infant should be kept in the bassinet at all times. Whoever you select to be with you for support during labor is also at risk, so we ask that your support person sit in a supportive chair during epidurals and whenever he or she feels the slightest lightheadedness. Infant Security The Family Birth Center is a secured area. Patients and visitors must pick up the courtesy phone for admittance. After your baby is born, a special identification bracelet will be placed on the baby, on you, and on one other person of your choice. Each bracelet set has a unique identifying number that links you and your baby. The baby will not be given to anyone other than a matching bracelet holder. Your baby will also have a security band attached to an ankle. The security band has a sensor inside that will activate our alarm system if your baby is too close to a secured door or if someone tries to remove the baby from our unit. The Family Birth Center staff wear special uniforms and pink identification badges. Your baby should only be released to hospital staff with a pink identification badge. 
Should you feel uncomfortable with anyone requesting to take your baby, it is all right to question and refuse. Please call for assistance. We recommend that you keep your baby in view at all times when in your room. If at all possible, do not place your baby next to the door or leave your baby alone in your room. Safety during medical procedures. Before procedures such as epidurals or C-sections, staff members will ask your name and check your armband to make sure that the information is correct. Just before a procedure begins, everyone will stop what they are doing for a timeout to review all of your information for accuracy. This process also occurs if your infant needs any procedures or if you elect to have your baby circumcised. During delivery and surgery, the staff pays special attention to the number of sponges, needles, and instruments brought out for use during your procedure. A complete count of surgical equipment and sponges is done before your wound is closed. For surgery, the staff is specially trained to maintain sterile conditions in the operating rooms. If your support person attends your C-section, he or she will be required to wear surgical attire to maintain a sterile environment. Remember, you and your baby are at the center of your healthcare team. Educate yourself about your condition and the tests and treatments you are undergoing. Be involved in your treatment plan. Know which medicines you are taking and why you are taking them. If you are not sure, speak up. Pay attention to the care you and your baby are receiving. We want you to be an active participant in decisions that will affect you or your baby. If you have any concerns with your or your baby's care and safety, speak up and call your nurse or charge nurse. Thank you for giving us your trust and for partnering with us in a joint effort to keep safety first. And thank you for choosing the Family Birth Center at Mercy Gilbert Medical Center.